how mm. sure, I can't imagine this how was the financial financial strain mm. in your home after your husband left and I'll say do you <laughs> <laughs> do you boo do you do you <laughs> <laughs> I am <laughs> Phenomenal Motherhood where we discover, discuss, debunk and celebrate motherhood. That's yes, truly yes, amazing. Yes. And mm. also I want to know how did you continue, you know, to be a parent to your children mm. while, you know, while grieving your husband, while mourning your husband? Mm. How did you continue mm. because I mean you were so used to having a father figure and you are the mother and he's the father there's certain roles that he plays in your mm -hmm. in your home i mean he's the he's the head of the home mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. um how did you navigate through motherhood did you receive support from your in-laws did you receive support from your family as well mm. it's it's it, it is not easy mm. because because when you come together we come with uh different um what's the word different ca ca characteristics mm. that builds up a person yeah. and as a couple you bring them together and then you have the offspring that you are channeling those mm. in them so i was feeling like i'm limping Ish. but i had to balance mm. in that limping because my husband was soft spoken mm. you know <laughs> but tough mm. <laughs> yeah. firm. yes mm. yes very firm mm. and so so me I'm so mm. <laughs> and kids when, yeah, when you're yeah. the loud one loud yes, yeah. to ah. get used to it yeah, get, yes get used to it so he was my weapon mm. in that when they've done thing that that is not right and I tell them I'm, I'm going to tell your dad so the, 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 the house becomes in order yes, yes. yes so so I've seen now that I'm really like struggling <laughs> with with them because mm. they there's no one that that I, I'm saying I'm I'm going I'm to, to tell, tell dad now. Yes, I'm <laughs> going to tell dad now. Wow! But it, uh, as I say, the the grace of God is sufficient. Amen. The church was there to help me. My mom mm. was there to help me. And your in-laws? Um. Uh, when when we got married mm -hmm. with my husband, I'm, I'm the, we were very very close to people. Mm. He was my best friend. Aww. Yeah. I'm starting to have friends now. Wow. <laughs> he was my best friend, so we we, we never had that kind of, of relationship, mm. you know. And there was no that expected support from their side. Mm. You so you, you weren't expecting them to, yes, okay. to yeah to be yeah even though uh, with them during the you know people can promise whatever that they mm. promise you during the funeral because they're, they're also grieving and exactly. they're looking at these keys, but. After the funeral, everybody goes back to their homes. They continue. They, their yeah, lives. La, 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 life continues, you know. Sure. And you are you are left there, but God <laughs> in everything. God but, Almighty. But God, you yeah. know. Yes. So, yeah. So, um, whew. how? Sure, mm. I can't imagine this. How was the financial financial strain mm. in your home after your husband left? I mean, him being. You know the breadwinner of the home, mm, mm, the mm. you know the provider of the home. Mm. How was the financial strain for you as a mother to mm. continue to mm. you know take care of these kids? Mm. You know, live the same life, give them the same quality of life. Yeah, yo, Tom was a a, a, a visionary. You know, his 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 all things are ahead. Wow, he 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 was a planner. Mm. He was the one with who organized things in the house. You know, mm. and and make sure that we have uh bread in, in winter mm. you know yeah mm. so i never uh, experienced luck wow yeah wow i would rather say we we, we lived better mm. you know i mm. never really experienced that because he he had planned he has paid for his children's school fee until the adversity wow and you know wow. yeah and that's that's very important mm -hmm. um if you need to take anything from this interview mm, mm. just take the fact that as mm. a parent mm. as a mother as a father mm. you know you need to have you need to plan for your children yes. should anything happen to you yes. what's going to happen to these mm. children you need to think about that mm. because mm. i mean there's a saying that i saw on instagram on yes. twitter that mm. says mm. the way your family treats you when you're broke is how they're going to treat your children when you're no more yeah okay mm. so imagine when your children are still six years old two years old mm. so young mm. and 
financially they're straining other people mm. or they're burdening other people mm. you don't want that for yeah, them it's going no, to frustrate no. them even more mm. you know don't. so it's very important to have mm. policies in place mm. um for your children i know um a friend of mine mm. who's um her parents passed away when she was very young mm. and her worry was what's going to happen to even though they paid her school fees mm-hmm. Uh, throughout the whole um, high school mm. she had said what, what's going to happen to me when I get to varsity mm-hmm. I don't have any other person mm-hmm. that, that will financially um, support me mm-hmm. but she thank God her mm-hmm. parents were planners mm-hmm. she got a call mm-hmm. that um, mm-hmm. from a policy mm-hmm. that your parents planned um, to pay your school fees mm-hmm. your accommodation your mm-hmm. food to buy mm-hmm. your clothes mm-hmm. and everything mm-hmm. to a point that years later mm. when she was now working mm. she gets a call again to mm. say mm. your dad left you some money wow imagine yeah imagine yeah, so no, she was so really beautiful. set for life mm. yes she was mourning her parents but mm. she was also the burden of you know what, what, what am i gonna do mm. how am i gonna yes. go to school it was mm. not there mm. so it's mm. really really important mm. as a parent yeah to put certain things in mm. place it's just not a uh, uh, good you know during funeral there, there's such hurts and 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 you you, you cry and it is not wise that you crying for the loss of your loved one mm. also you are crying that you are in debt exactly you are crying what am i going to do after this mm. who, who, who's going to help me after this? everybody mm. has got their lives to live so oh, I, I believe god prepared me in a way that i think it was five years before all, all, all this happened mm. god told me get out of debt wow yeah Wow. get out of debt get out of debt so mm. I, I i did that slowly by slowly until i cleared all my debts wow. I, I am a, a debt free person hmm? right now wow so wow. so I, imagine if that happened and i'm also in debt so yeah sure. because policies can pay for school fees mm. and and the, the clothes of the children but mm. not your, your debt exactly, exactly so so i i, I get all of the debts and I'm I'm a free living soul, you know, wow. very free. And yeah, that is freedom. Yes. Excuse me. One thing yes. that is holding uh, a lot of people down is mm. debt. Mm. They can't do certain things because at the end of the month, when they get paid, all their salary all goes the to debt. Yes, yeah. to yeah. debt. And then so you, being you buy free. clothes. You buy clothes on debt. I mean, mm. come on. Mm. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. If you don't have it, you don't have you, it. Yeah, you, you know. Have it, yeah. <laughs> Just learn to be patient and save. Yeah. You know. Wow. Yeah. So. That's truly admirable and I wish, you know, a lot of people can try yeah. to live by that. I know mm. like our our circumstances are, are different. Are different, yeah. But um living a debt free life is it is it's the dream. <laughs> you just that one thing at a time. If you don't have it, it means mm. that God does not want to want, want me to have it. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Wow. And and if you if you do have it, God wants you to have it. So you, yeah, you, you don't have to go into death. Mm. God is saying, Oh no man, but only love huh. yeah we should all people love not money yes yes <laughs> yes yeah. absolutely yeah sure that is powerful now you are from Botswana mm-hmm. and now you're in South Africa yes how 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 did you get here <laughs> and why did you decide to leave to leave everything behind and come to South Africa leaving your family behind mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. um, what was the reason behind that I think I wanted to start afresh yeah. yeah, I wanted a new place, new people. Mm. If possible, change my name. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I think everywhere I looked, I, I would see Tom, mm. and and I knew I was gonna be in that place for a long time. Mm. And mentally, and as a mother, that was not good either for me or for my children. Absolutely. So I had to be in a place where everything is new, even though. I had carried him in my heart, mm. you know, wherever I go. Yeah. It was not the the same as as being in the place where we were, places where we went, you know, church together and mm. everything else. So when mm. I'm sitting in church, I'm seeing the empty chair. So Ish. those kind of things. So I should, I just say I'm gonna get in the car and I'm just gonna drive. Wow. And I drive south. <laughs> and, and you're here, here. <laughs> and so we are here. <laughs> yes. yes. Thank God. Thank yeah. God. Mm. Now, um before you came to South Africa, mm. um during the grieving process, mm. what was what that one thing that you did to you know just um heal yourself and I know that healing healing uh, grieving rather yes, is yes. a journey mm. and it takes mm. long mm-hmm. um different for different for everyone. What was yes. that one thing that you did to say, you know what? Um, I'm doing this for my healing. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I um, in, in, especially with uh, in terms of um, your children. Yes, you know. Mm. Mm. What I did 
I, uh, you know, things, things became tough, not tough in money or whatnot, but yeah. th but the, the fact and the, the, the reality that my, my, my husband is gone mm. and he, he's not coming back. Mm. So I went into a d d d d depression, just like what is what was that all about, you mm. know, even though I thank God for the 19 years that, that he, he, he had given me with, oh. with him. Mm. Um, um, I moved to my to, to my sister's place, okay. yes, for three months, mm -hmm. and I took my kids to a boarding school in Zambia. Okay, yeah, for that time because I could I couldn't function mm. properly, mm. and I, I believed it it was not gonna be good for my kids. Yeah, you know, being in that de 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 depressed state. Yeah, and also for them wanting their mother, which later I, I don't know. But I just thought maybe I did not do right with my children, <laughs> putting them in a boarding school that they've just lost their father and now their mother is far away from them. Even though I would drive because where I was mm -hmm. is is called Kasani. Okay. It's like sixty kilometers away from Livingston, where oh, where, where, where they were in Zambia. Okay. So I would, yeah fun. yeah. So I would drive often to go and see them, mm. you know, because I didn't want them to see me in in that state. In that state. Yeah, because I had lived where where the church had expected or i maybe i have portrayed that i'm the stronger person mm. because you need to be strong for the church yes. you need to be strong for your children sure. because you're a pastor you need to act in a, in in a, a certain, certain way. way yes and and i remember when god told me now it's it's, it's, it's time to leave the pulpit I, I think god was seeing what what it, it was doing to me inside mm. it's now mm. to leave the pulpit and i handed over the church to some to some couple okay and they are running it now wow. and then uh, it was my, my, my time for healing, for healing yeah, and yeah. then I stepped down that's when the, the reality hit and I went into the state of mourning and I had to take my kids away so yeah. that I can heal I can yeah. heal yeah but I am still healing mm. is uh, I, I believe a grief comes in waves yeah and we grow with it mm. I'm not uh, the same person that I was two three years ago mm. you know I'm stronger every day. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'm teary. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'm laughing, mm -hmm. remembering what what we we had. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So and then what I realized, you need to be who you are. Mm -hmm. you, you, you need to be true to your inner inner self. Most Absolutely. of the time, we 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 put up face mm -hmm. and then we quote the scriptures mm -hmm. and everybody around us think no everything, everything is okay. Is fine. Most especially in culture where, where men are told no men are not supposed to cry. To cry. You know, mm. you need to cry if exactly. you want to cry. Absolutely. You know, I was just telling my one lady, she, she recently lost her, her husband also to, to COVID. As I was telling my girl, you, if you want to cry, cry. Mm -hmm. If mm -hmm. you want to close yourself to everybody, just just be. As, as the emotion come, the mm. waves of emotions, yeah, yield to them. Yes. Don't bottle anything. Absolutely. Yeah, because well, well, one time you're just going to burst. And explode. Yes, mm. yes, yes. That's yes, not going to yeah, be yes. a very nice yeah, thing. A nice you know? thing, yeah. And I like what um, you said, even though you said you, you sort of like felt bad taking yeah. your children to boarding school, but oh. um, in as much as I know that they lost their dad, mm. I think um, they, they, they were, you didn't just dump them somewhere else. Mm, mm, you put mm. them in good care, in a good mm, school mm, where mm. they are being taken care of yes. while you also heal yes. for them because yes. you mm. need to take care of yourself yes. to show up as a good mother to mm. them you know yes. to be present in their lives yes. and you couldn't have done that because you were grieving the love of mm. your life your yes. soulmate mm. Mm. so I think you shouldn't you know uh, be so hard on yourself you were doing <laughs> what's best for them as yes. well yes. and for you yes. it's true you know it's true because you cannot function when, when you're not fine absolutely you, you cannot give love when you, you don't love yourself mm. you know mm. yeah so I believe I, I was preparing myself for the duty of both a mother and a father. Yes, yes wow. Yes, this time. Sure, that's um, <laughs> overwhelming to be honest. <laughs> yeah. But um, so when you moved to South Africa, mm. um, how did your children, you know, adjust to South Africa? Did you bring all of them here? And how, how was the transition, you know? Yeah, um, it, it wasn't that. Uh, that much hard, mm -hmm. if if I can put it, it's only that they they had to adjust to others 
you mm. know the, the subject you yes. know at the school because our history is not the same exactly and yeah. then the language barrier but that girls that are young mm. they, they're caught up you know the, if you can listen to them uh speaking to baby now mm. you know wow. <laughs> yeah. the little one was learning africans wow you don't have africans in botswana no we don't have africans really? in botswana wow. we don't have to be in botswana so wow. the is but also is is our Botswana here in south africa the same as the one in it's, botswana it's not it's different same, right it's different yeah <laughs> When someone from Botswana speaks to one, I'm just like, mm-hmm. Ooh, okay. yeah, it's, it's quite different. But yeah. it, for 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 them also, it was fun. Mm. It was a, a different place, you mm. know, making new new friends, new friends, yeah, and everything. But I came with the two girls. Okay. Yeah, the first one, where well, he she, she was in the varsity that 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 side. Okay. Now she's in internship. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So, how old is she now? She's 24. Wow. Yeah, wow. she's 24. Yeah. Wow. Mm. Sure. And are they, do they ever say, I want to go back to Botswana? Oh, no. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I think they're more settled here than, than me. Wow. I don't know why, but they're just mm. like, you I know. I think also children adapt easily. Mm. Mm. They do. They do. Wow. Even, yeah, even though I, I miss my family, mm. you know, I miss my family and I, I, I've been wanting to travel because I've been here like forever. I've been wanting to travel and mm. now the COVID came and I'm like, sure. I, I'm not crossing the border like mm. this. <laughs> so. <laughs> okay, so now you are in South Africa, mm-hmm. you are with your two children mm. and um, you, you did say that you're still healing as well, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. How mm-hmm. are you now? Where are you at the moment? <laughs> I'm much better than yesterday. Wow. That's <laughs> yeah. beautiful. Yes, I'm much better than yesterday. Mm. Every day has got its challenges. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but um, I, I'm not grieving mm. like two years ago. Mm. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm much better. So I'm you do better. agree when people say time heals? Yeah, I, th- I think so. Is it? Yeah, Is I, it? I, think, I think so. <laughs> but, but again, I think you will never get over this like okay it's done mm, it's finished mm, no because mm. it's somebody that i've spent half of my life with mm, you know 19 years yeah. it's not something that can just even after 10 years i think i'll still look back and see the beauty yeah. of what we we, wow. we had and then also the sadness that he's no longer there mm. with me but you know wow just thanking god for giving him to me for such time you absolutely, know. absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And also if there is a mother right now mm. who um lost um you know their spouse mm-hmm. and they need advice and they want to move on, right? Because mm. I mean um there's a lot of pressure and judgment mm. on women that have lost their spouses in terms of moving on. Mm. There's a lot of uh, judgments where people will say you moved on too quick yeah. or you didn't even love that guy or whatever. Yeah. What advice do you have for someone that's watching right now, they've mm. lost their spouse and they mm. want to move on? <laughs> I'll say do you. <laughs> <laughs> do you boo? Do you, do you. Do you, you know, because love is beautiful. Absolutely. God created love. Mm. And God did not create you as a loner. Mm-hmm. You know, you had that moment with that person and and they had passed on to glory. Mm. So if you are ready and then there's somebody who is interested in you, mm. you know, build something from that. Mm. But one thing that you need to realize is don't compare. Don't True. compare the, the, the previous person with, with the now person because mm. what, whatever that you had before with James or Mary, mm. you'll never have it now. Yeah. It was that season and mm. it's gone. So uh, don't say, hey, my, my husband used to do this. You know, my wife used to do this mm. for me. So mm. you are putting another person in, in pressure. Mm. So, uh, sorry, pressure. Yes. So just live the moment, live in the moment. And, and, and I, I cannot say date after so many years. Yeah. Date it's people. Yeah, everyone. yeah. It's different for for everyone. Even the society likes to speak whether mm. you do good or bad. So live your life. Live your you life. You know, even even if you date after five years or ten, they'll say, oh, which means this guy has always been in the picture. Mm. No, it's not like that. True. You know, true. so just live the, your 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 life. Please God, 
mm. and love everybody else absolutely absolutely <laughs> yeah. that is so profound yes live your life do you mm. don't try to please people mm -hmm. you know mm. be selfish with your happiness ah, you know? yeah that is absolutely important mm. be selfish with your happiness mm. and choose yourself mm. all the time yes and um pastor dorica i want you to um if there's a lady that's watching or a man that's watching mm. and they've just lost um their spouse mm. what words of encouragement do you have for them or rather what words would you have wanted to receive at the moment when you heard that your husband has passed on to glory wow okay what what had worked for me or what would i have wanted people to say is that be still and know that he is he is god you know he will he will Amen. take you through i've experienced god mm. as a husband wow because you know in every stages of our lives mm. we, we 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 had a, a, a experienced him differently mm. you know there's no how that you can we we are a generation that talk about god Absolutely. we talk about what paul had done mm -hmm. but there's a time uh, in your life time and a stage in your life where as a christian mm. you need to to experience god for yourself mm. you need to give god a name mm. as yourself mm. you know um i had seen him as, as a husband mm. for for me i would say to you the the the, the scripture that had uh, had me going mm. is that he's a father to the fatherless absolutely <laughs> and a defender Whew. of the widows your maker is your husband amen so so i have i have seen him as my husband you mm. know there, there, there were there were things that my, my husband used to do for mm. me mm. you know he would come from work almost every day mm. he'll have a newspaper mm. and he'll have a, a, a loaf of bread wow with him, <laughs> you know mm. and after he, he had passed god will make some people to come to my house knock mm. and give me a, a loaf of bread at around that time that he he he, he would come home mm. and i said there is <laughs> there is a man wow. <laughs> that loves me and he's mm. god and he's god yeah so he had proved himself mm. as a husband and i remember one day we went to, to town with my daughter mm -hmm. and i i went into this boutique i loved this dress mm. but I, I i did not have money to buy mm. then you know i i just fitted on it and then I, I i i left it there were only two dresses size okay. 34 and size 36 wow. and i was slimmer by then mm. i was wearing, <laughs> I was wearing size 34 and i think in two to three days somebody knocked at, at my house mm. bring that particular dress size 34 wow. the dress that I, I had fitted on wow so he was saying baby i'm here mm. i got you <laughs> if that is not god yeah, i don't yeah. know oh god, i am wonderful. your husband so just know that god got to god is your husband mm. you know he, he will take you through just fix up your eyes on him mm -hmm. yes just fix up and and tell him what is inside your heart mm. you know god wants a conversation a true you worry fellowship oh, hey, daddy, i am hating mm. this is painful today i'm feeling like this mm. and and you see you develop such a relationship with him absolutely that he will be your defender absolutely yes wow yeah. <laughs> so so beautiful <laughs> sure you said yeah. a mouth full <laughs> and i cannot add on to what you just said yeah that's really amazing mm -hmm. um before we end i just want to talk about your books um this one is the cookie jar this is my favorite favorite one yeah. we spoke about it in the mm -hmm. beginning mm -hmm. now i want you to talk about um the other ones that you have yeah and also talk about the inspiration behind the book who did you write this book for <coughs> etc okay Thank you so much. Um, You're welcome. Th th this is no, no longer 19. Okay. Remember, I, I got married when I was 19. Mm -hmm. And whatever that was driving me, it was driving me through the eye of a 19-year-old girl. Mm. So I, I, I wrote this book saying, I'm no longer 19. The choices that, that I make right now mm. are different. Oh. I'm more mature. Mm -hmm. So it will help people that um, don't know what to do with their lives. Mm. Or you are 19 mm -hmm. and you, you you just want to go into things that are for adults mm. <laughs> you 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 like uh rush into stuff mm. so this book will also help you wow i've also put uh, how to prepare for your for your wedding day mm -hmm. 
how to date wow a, 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 as a christian person mm -hmm. yes and what is love mm -hmm. and i put a lot about my my husband and i wow. how we met mm. and our um, marriage and mm -hmm. then my my life as a young child with without a father yeah. and how fathers can stand up mm -hmm. in the gap and protect their children and not run away from them mm -hmm. you know so it's 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 all in here wow yes so this is a, 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 a the, the the same book okay actually this is the the third the third edition okay of of the book uh it comes every year okay I just uh, uh, titled it Dear Beloved okay. because I, I, I believe God is He's saying something to me mm, every, every day. day. Yeah. So Dear My Beloved, mm, you know. Wow. So la, la, Love Knows From God. Okay. So it's a, it's a devotion. Okay. Yes, so it's like yeah. a journal. Yes, yeah. It's more like a journal. So okay. it, it comes in here. So the, 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 this is the first one that I had. And then the, the, the second one that is not here. And then this is the third one that came this, this okay. year. So this is very good when when you are somebody who wants to meditate in the morning mm -hmm. you wake up you open up you read and then you pray and then you you write down so it helps wow. me so much wow yes it helps wow. me so much so it's yeah. got notes inside there yes yeah. wow absolutely mm -hmm. beautiful yeah all right, okay. so um, if someone is watching and they want to get hold of your books, where do they get hold of them? Okay, I have my books uh, with me mm -hmm. and then I've got them online. Okay. I've got the, the, the cookie jar or in um, uh, Amazon. Okay. Yes, so that is where you can get uh, my books. Okay, so yeah. I'm going to um, link um amazon link for the cookie jar mm -hmm. you can click on it and purchase the book it is amazing mm -hmm. you know it will teach you a lot about sex yes that is a taboo to yes. talk about you know <laughs> yeah um it's it's truly amazing and mm -hmm. i just need to add that this book also mm -hmm. um prompted me mm -hmm. you know or encouraged me to talk to my younger sisters about mm -hmm. sex you know mm -hmm. because i mean i don't want them to learn sex from the street yes i want them yes. to learn from me because mm -hmm. i love them and mm -hmm. i mm -hmm. have their best interest at yes, heart yes. so um absolutely mm. um love love mm. love this book yes. and I'm, I'm gonna put your phone number so people yes. can contact you mm, mm, to mm. um purchase this book yes wow yes, yes yeah it's quite a mouthful or handful book mm. too because it's also helping the, the couples yeah how to stay fresh wow how how, how, how to maintain that, that that love life wow how to keep your bedroom clean wow. how to dress for sex mm -hmm. how to eat for sex mm -hmm. how to exercise for sex. everything yeah. is there everything okay is there. <laughs> okay okay uh pastor dorica this has been amazing but before we close mm -hmm. um we need to pay, play a little game mm -hmm. okay yeah so in this bowl over here we have you know a little bit of sticky notes that yes. we're going to read out the, uh -huh. the game is called never have i ever okay mm -hmm. so do you want to go first <laughs> let me go first okay never have i ever yes never have i ever wiped dirt off my child's face with spit on my fingers <laughs> 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 I am. <laughs> I think all the mothers. I think all, even with my mom, she used to yeah, do it. Yeah, yeah. Before, before we enter church, uh, she'd be like, come here. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever sucked mucus from your? No, your my aunt. Blocks? My aunt does it. I, I, I do that. You do that. <laughs> <laughs> My aunt does it. Oh, are you so funny? So disgusting. <laughs> but you do help the child. Oh, I, I, no, I'm sorry. I can't. <laughs> okay, let me go next. Okay. Never have I ever mm -hmm. been disappointed when I found out my baby's gender. <laughs> yeah. I have. <laughs> I have. I, I think the reason why I've got three girls is because we're trying for a boy. boy. <laughs> yeah. With me, it was my, my first pregnancy uh. Uh, with Ayo. Mm. I wanted my first child to be a girl. Mm -hmm. You know, mm. when I found out, I, I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. But I quickly had to snap out of it because mm. it's, it's very important, yes. you know, to snap yes. out of it because mm. some mm. women go through um, postpartum depression yes. because they're hoping for this particular gender mm. and. 
yeah and yeah. it also affects the baby as well yes They'll it does have unwanted it, and it, is. Yeah. it does affect the child because life is so much uh spiritual absolutely yes so much spiritual then you end up with with a child that doesn't know whether it's a girl or mm. a boy because you you have spoken i want a boy yes words are powerful words are powerful then the child becomes confused mm. yes like sure. with with my last born mm. everything was blue poor child everything was oh, blue shit. from the cause to the cause <laughs> so i just had to pray and break it as i know mm. you are a girl you are a gift yes. and we love you and we accept you as you are oh. <laughs> yeah okay you go next yeah <laughs> never have i ever received unsolicited parenting advice yeah yeah who hasn't <laughs> <laughs> i have i have, I have. Yeah. And, but sometimes i feel like it doesn't come from you know a, a bad place it comes mm. from a place of love yes. sometimes yes. but sometimes it's unnecessary mm. like for example you know our grandmothers who always no. advise us to do certain things as yes. they did, the way they did, they did it, you yes, know yeah. <laughs> So mm. sometimes it's not yeah it's not, it's not, doesn't come from a bad place. Place. and some and it, it becomes more intense when you're pregnant don't eat Ooh. this don't sit like this don't, don't walk like this. Oh, my child will come right oh, <laughs> my aunt will always say you know where i come from in masina uh, it's super hot uh, she want me to wear socks you oh must wear God. long sleeve oh my you God. Must, oh, <laughs> don't get cold uh, you must always oh, oh my goodness <laughs> yeah all righty let me go next yeah never have i ever googled mm-hmm. my child's symptoms <laughs> oh so, yeah doctor <laughs> google is our best friend yes, yes. <laughs> yes. okay oh. okay never have i ever mm-hmm. claimed my child was younger than they really are in order to get a <laughs> discount <laughs> <laughs> no i've never done I've that never <laughs> never <laughs> Alrighty, the last one. Mm-hmm. Never have I ever mm-hmm. dropped off my kids at school. Brother. <laughs> oh, never. I'll not go out of the house without a bra. <laughs> you are such a lady. <laughs> no, I'll not go out I of the house without a bra. I have. I have. Oh my goodness. Maybe because I've got a, you know, a big bust. A big bust, yeah. Sure, with me, sometimes in the morning, I'm like so late. I just especially now that i'm working from home uh-huh. the com- comfort for me is everything uh, i get uh, dressed oh, the, by the way this is before i i started breastfeeding now that uh, i'm breastfeeding i always have to wear a bra i always have to wear um um, um breast pads yes but before then i'll just dress up, oh, yeah, dress him up let's go as long as i'm not getting out of the car uh, bye close the door come back home no. continue with my life <laughs> even even if it happens that i'm wearing pajamas mm. i will rather Wear bra. Do we bra? Ooh, you're such a lady. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it just feels awkward. Is it? Yeah. Like <laughs> <laughs> yeah. walking out of the house naked. Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Um, Pastor Dorica, thank you so much for joining me, for being yes. here. It is such a privilege and an honor. It's been a pleasure. It has been amazing. Thank mm. you for sharing your story. Mm. Thank you for just being here yeah. for gracing us for yeah. praying for us you Thank know you so it has been amazing and yeah. guys please don't forget to subscribe yes please don't forget to like yes and if you've got any question for pastor dorica comment down below yes and don't forget i'll put um the link to her book the cookie jar it's a must have okay yeah in the comment section and yeah thank mm-hmm. you so much thank you bye, bye. god yes. bless you <laughs>